Hey y'all, this is Sezador from YouTube. I am uh, doing the Heretic Run for Episode 3 on the Ultraviolence difficulty for the PC using the GZ Doom engine. We are on uh, Episode 3, Map 3 of the Confluence. Okay, so we start off in a waterfall looking area, and if you look below, there's quite a few gargoyles. Uh, there's some saber claws. Um, I believe there's even, yes, an iron ledge. So we're going to go ahead and just take them out. The fastest way would probably be just go to use the Phoenix Staff. There we go. And then just uh, crossbow the rest, probably the next best way. I'll just use a Phoenix staff to take out most of those guards. A couple of them should take out most of them. Alright, now the key is grab the yellow key. Go ahead and take out those ophidiums, the trap that just opened. I'm going to use the claw. It's, it's probably one of the most efficient ways to do it. Alright, so grab the shadow sphere. There is a shield on there, but I'm not going to grab that shield just yet. I still have enough of my uh, enchanted shield that I can live without it for just a little while longer. So now we got the yellow key, we're going to open the yellow door, and we're going to go ahead and take out the saber claws. Now press forward, open up the secret door for our first secret of the game, reeling a crossbow. Lots and lots of saber claws. Okay, there's an ophidian, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my orb. Claw orb. Alrighty. Yeah, use a staff there. Phoenix rod. But there's not a lot of room in here, it's kinda of cramped, so it'll probably be kinda of dangerous. There we go. It's like the rocket launcher and doing fire too close, it can actually hurt you. So, just be very careful about that. Now that you hit both the switches on the other side, go back over here and the teleport has revealed itself. Go ahead and grab the green key and the ring. Go ahead and drop back down. And we're going to go ahead and grab that shield since I don't have much left. Open up the left side. Take out the saber claws. Grab that flash because if we go back out, another secret opens up which reveals an urn. So I'm going to go back in and circle around. There's lots and lots and lots of uh, um, gargoyles and ophidians. So I'm going to take, up, take out the gargoyles probably with the crossbow, and I'll deal with the ophidians with something more heavy duty, probably with the phoenix staff. Well, what the heck? How did the disciple get out? Normally, I thought they'd be deaf. I thought they couldn't hear us from inside that wooden door, which we're about to go to, so. Well, that's one less thing to worry about, I guess. Alright, now I'll use my staff. Or my Phoenix Rod. Okay. Okay, now that most of them are dead, I'm going to use my Phoenix Rod one more time, and I'm going to fire about three or four shots in there and take out most of the skeletons which are trying to snipe me. It may not kill all of them, but at least it clears it up some to make it easier when I do go up there. So I do want to save my staff, or my Phoenix Rod, I call it Staff Rod, whatever. Hope you know what I'm talking about. Now we're going to open up that wooden door, and now there's only one Disciple to take out, so that's one less thing to worry about. So I'm going to go left. Take out yet one more disciple. Okay, grab ammunition, health, whatever. Okay, there is a quarter which leads down, but I'm not going to take that just yet. I'm going to go ahead and run over here. He's not going down easy. Flip the switch, which reveals... 
Yep, more saber claws. So I am going to take my health staff out and just fire away. Okay, grab the ammunition. Alright, now I'm going to go left and grab that claw. I believe there's a couple of gargoyles guarding it. There we go. Nothing too difficult, I guess. Okay, now we're going to grab that flask, we're going to grab that health, and behind that is a secret door which reveals a bag and a guard. There we go. Alright, now that we took them out, we're going to go ahead um, for our next secret, where the trident is, so we'll open that up, which reveals, yep, another tunnel of power. So we're going to open that up. I'm going to just go ahead and use that, because there's quite a few in this level. And it's probably good at the time as any to use it, so there's lots of golems. So if I can get them all. all right. We got about what 20 some more seconds left, so I'm gonna go crazy here. Take them all out that I can. There's some nitro golems behind a teleporter, but we are not taking that teleporter just yet because it takes us back behind the yellow door. And that's some little bit of backtracking, so I don't think we need to do that. So we're gonna go back out the way we came, and it wore out just in time. So good timing. Uh, do we explore everything? I think we got most of it. Um, uh, I think I got pretty much everything in there. I'll, go, I'll double check one more time. Good thing I checked because there's one more saber claw I missed. I don't think there's any more in there. There's not anything in those alcoves where they came from, so don't worry about it. Okay, and there are some saber claws that came out. I think when where that blue key is, there's some over there. So once we get the blue key, it springs a trap with quite a few uh, wear dragons. So let's go ahead and just blast them with um, the phoenix. Oh, I only got a couple left, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use my claw then. It's good as anything on them, I think. Be sure to grab those uh, time bombs here for 100% items. They do count as an item. I think I got most of them, if not all. Grab, yeah, there's a flask on each side. Okay, so now that they're gone, I'm gonna go ahead and open up that blue door. Get, approach that red flag, and an Ophidian comes out, which reveals a Hellstaff behind him, so. There we go. Go ahead and grab that Hellstaff for the ammo. And there's a Skeletor up there, which apparently didn't get with the the rockets, Phoenix, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that red flag reveals another secret with uh, a flask, not much there, but it's still a secret, so we need to tag it. Flip all the switches there. Okay, so before we go to the next one, we're going to go ahead and get the ring, because there are there's a nasty, nasty room behind there. Yep, with a bunch of disciples. We're going to go ahead and take them out. There's like six or seven of them in there. 30 seconds should be sufficient. I can just go ahead and use a crossbow on them. They're not powerful, but they're dangerous. Alright, here. Get some valuable ammunition in here, that's for sure. Now my uh, invulnerability is wearing off, so I'm going to go press forward, take out the Edifidian. Lots of nitro golems in there. Alright, I think I took most of them out. There might be some Ophidian. Yeah, there's an Ophidian right there. Came out that corridor. You take a lot of punishment. Okay, now we're going to open this seek right here, which contains the gargoyle and Toma Power. We're going to go up the stairs, take out all the golems. Here, fire mace it. Uh, 
Alright, so the next secret right here is some wings with a golem. Go ahead and take that. Get the urn. Here, now I got... There we go. I'm gonna fire up the mace. Tornadoes make it hard for me to focus. I don't like tornadoes! Well, he's dead at least. Come on. Alright. Last monster, I think, is that Disciple. Okay, so one of our final secrets is that Raven Wall. Go ahead and grab that, lower the lift, get the tome, get the staff if you need it. L staff. Lower this to get back to near your starting point. I think it is our starting point. Okay, so we have one more monster. We have all the items and secrets, so we just need to go ahead and find out where that last monster is at. likely it's yeah I thought I got him I might have left a okay one other thing I forgot to get yeah I left some items behind too so let's go ahead and grab these items here now there it is a wear dragon okay good I completely forgot about this part I'm glad I remembered that Okay, so we're, one of those switches lowered the little wall, so we can go ahead and grab that Tome of Power and some goodies, um, which also reveals a uh, Phoenix Rod. So I think we're now 100% for everything, so let's go ahead and get out of here. We're good. Yes, I'm just double checking my stuff. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so the Confluence. So, yeah, definitely it's uh, starting to get a bit tougher now. Um, Lots more Ophidians, uh, lots of devious monsters. That, that, the trap is nasty with all those uh, um, disciples there near the blue door. Once you get past that, that's definitely a, you know, if you're not prepared for it, it can be very, very dangerous, if not deadly. So just be, use your rings if you need to. Use the tones of power. Um, all in all, though, it's, it's a pretty fun map. I like it. It's got lots of traps. Um, but you're, if you're, uh, you know, it's not nothing too difficult because there's plenty of ammunition plenty of health, so as long as you're cautious about it, you should be fine, so that leads us to the Azure Fortress, which is Mission 4, so I will be catching you guys next time, signing out.